Good morning. Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. This is Tiffany Huckleman here. Wanted to make sure I'm going live and give Facebook a minute to let you know that I'm here. Make sure I'm seeing us on my phone. Hello, hello. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's been kind of an interesting week for folks, I imagine, especially if you've got kids going back to school, whether virtual or not. Um, always an interesting time. Let's see. Okay, I just saw it, so I guess we're going to go with it. I was going to try to share it, but that's not going to work, so <laughs> there we go. Well, good morning. Hello, and my name is Tiffany Huckleman. I'm the founder and leader of the brand at Lone Orange, where we help solopreneurs scale their business beyond themselves with fewer headaches and more profits. So if you're a solopreneur and you are doing business by yourself, you are wearing all the hats, you are doing all the things, this message is for you. Especially if you are doing all the things and you still want to grow and you're not sure how because you're doing all the things and you're too busy doing all the things to think about growth. That's what I'm here to help with. That's what we specialize here at Lone Orange. And I'm excited about a, a new tool that I've created, a new uh, assessment, if you will, an inventory, if you will, to help you figure out if you are ready to grow, if your business is ready to scale. Now, here's the difference. You may be ready to grow. You want more money. You want more clients. You want more of everything. But are you ready to scale your business? Is the way you operate the way you serve your clients, the way you operate on the back end, the way you market, is that all scalable? Is it all something that you can take and grow? Now, here's an interesting story. So when I was in business and I was probably maybe about six months in, I was in a networking me meeting and one of those big lunches where we're in a big ballroom and I'm sitting at a table with a bunch of strangers and it was the first time I was at this meeting, and so I was already feeling a little awkward, but I'm sitting there and I'm listening to the speaker. And this speaker was very well known in our area. But she was talking about growing your business and that sort of thing, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is great. I was actually really interested in what she was saying. I was on the edge of my seat, hanging around to every word she was saying. I was still a baby business, still absorbing a lot of information to figure out how to grow my own business. And I remember very distinctly sitting there listening to what everything she had to say. And one sentence came out of her mouth. She said, if you are the only one in your business, if you're the only one working in your business, you haven't built a business, you've built a job. And I remember, in fact, even right now, like I felt angry. I was furious. I was livid at that statement because in my mind, I didn't want a team. When I started my business, I didn't want anybody else there because to me that meant headaches, management, frustration, hassle, just easier to do it myself than it was to train somebody else. Like all, I just didn't, when I started my business, I had the vision. I was not, there was not going to be anyone else. It was going to be all me. I was going to do the work. I was going to serve my clients. I was going to make lots of money. It was going to be great few years so sitting in that meeting and I am just furious because my little two-year-old brain said no I want my business <laughs> I want my business at just myself I didn't want anybody there and so I was angry that she would say that because I'd like no I'm gonna do this fast forward a few weeks or a few months and I quickly realized she was right because there was only so much I could do without working 24 seven and burning everything at both ends. At that point I was already, I was loving what I was doing. Oh, I was growing the business, but I, my marriage was struggling. It was a brand new, like we were just married and it was struggling because I was putting all my attention on my business and not my husband. It, um, I was finding that there was a limit to what I could do. And somebody luckily introduced me to the book E-Myth by Michael Gerber. Perhaps you've read it very popular in entrepreneurial circles. And basically he's telling a story of why systems 
are important and why, how you can grow beyond doing things yourself. If you haven't read the book, I would highly recommend it. But it changed my perspective and it made me understand, okay, systems. I can get behind the systems thing. So I started on actually several year journey trying to figure out how to get those, how to make systems because it's for some reason, nobody could tell me how to do it. <laughs> they just told me it needed to be done. And, um, and, but then the other point in there was having more people, leveraging other people and other people's time to grow your business. So those were concepts that I really had to wrap my brain around. Now, fast forward again, 10 years. Now I have a team who I love, who we can do so much work, more work than what I can do on my, my, by myself. We make more, we help more people, and we have a lot more fun doing it. <laughs> um, plus, I was able to go last year, was it last year? Yeah, last year I was able to go on a four-week vacation because I had a team who could handle things. I couldn't have done that back in the beginning. Couldn't have done that if I had created myself a job. Now, here's the thing. I, if you are a solopreneur in a similar situation, if this resonates with you, I get it. I've been there. I understand that desire to want to grow, but oh my gosh, how do I do it? And everybody says systems and team and blah, how do I do it? So I've created a system, a process, excuse me, a program, a method that helps you do exactly that. I took everything that I've learned over those 10 years and helping clients as well as in my own business and put them into what I call the scale your brand method. And this method has four parts. The first part is, and this is, this is what I want you to think about, especially if you're a solopreneur, the first part is your culture and your identity. It's getting clear on who you are as a business because this is what makes you unique. This is the unique factor that sets you apart from other people. And if you can't set yourself apart from other people, how is anyone else going to know what makes you special and why they should work with you as opposed to the other people out there that they could hire? So that's the first step, your identity and culture. Your second step is your message. How do you take how awesome you are from your culture and identity and put that into a clear and compelling message to get that to your audience, to attract the people that you can best serve, to attract the team members that you want to help? How do you get that message packaged? How do you market to them? The third step, so that was culture, identity, message, and the third, actually I call it the, the so I call it the scale your brand with ease. <laughs> Um, because the, the four steps all start with ease. Essence, expression, so that is your culture identity, your message, your, your expression is your message, and the third one is experience. How do you want your clients to experience your business? You get to define that. Do you get that? Like, you get to craft how people are going to experience you and how they're going to talk about you after they've worked with you. Yeah. If you do this work, you get to define that. And when you define that experience, you get to figure out places where you can fill in the gaps to better meet their needs or you, how you can kind of level up, kind of power up your client experience. So that's the third step. So we have your essence, your expression, your experience, and the last one is to expand. Now this is the, the one where we're leading all up to, that we need these three first sections to be your foundation. Once those are strong, then you're ready to expand. In the expand section, we're talking about systems, how to create those systems. I walk you through a step-by-step -step simple process. I will say it's simple, doesn't make, sure, make it easy, it's still getting the systems out of your head that you're doing innately without thinking about it, like water to fish, you just do it. So pulling those systems out and getting them on paper so that you can hire a team, whether it be, who are you gonna start with? Maybe it's an accountant, maybe it's a virtual assistant. There's all, depending on what your business needs, there is no cookie cutter way to grow your team. But by having those systems in place, and some efficiencies in place and some automations in place, you know who to go find. And in this method, I show you how to go find those people. 
and what to do with those people and how to be ready to hire those people. So if you are ready to expand and you're ready to scale your business, these are the four steps to get to that point. It's so exciting to me. Like when I, I just think about back to when I started and how um, desperate I felt. I needed help, but I had no idea what to do. So these are the four steps to take to get you there faster than it took me. <laughs> I don't want it, you to take 10 years. I don't want you to waste any more time figuring out how to do this for yourself. I'm going to show you. So I have created a very fun, I'm excited about this. So there's a, a free assessment that I've called the Scaling Success Inventory. This inventory gets very clear. It helps you identify. It's simply 12 questions. That's it. You answer 12 simple questions, and it's going to give you a very specific pinpoint area of where you need to start in these four steps and these where you need to start so that you can make sure that your business is ready to scale. It's going to give you, it's kind of a litmus test of how ready is your business to scale. Like I say, you may be in your head ready to grow. You might be saying, I'm, I want to grow my business. Everybody does. I've never met an entrepreneur who doesn't want to grow their business. That's kind of why we're in business. But does that mean that your business is ready to scale? It's kind of like a, a plant. If you've ever gotten into planting and, and um, if you plant a small plant in a small pot, it will only grow so big because the roots can only grow so far and it eventually we get root bound and end up dying anyway. But if you take that little plant and you put it into a bigger pot, that plant can now grow to fill that pot. And if you want, you can keep going bigger and bigger and maybe put it in the ground. But the more space you have, the more resources you have, the greater growth you'll see the same thing with your business. By working this process, getting clear on your essence, on your uh, expression, on your experience, then you will be ready to expand. So if you are interested in taking the scaling success inventory, I will put the link in the comments below as soon as I log off here and go take that quiz. It's a free quiz, but you will instantly get a report that will tell you exactly which of these four areas you need to focus on. Now, I will tell you that the, the quiz actually talks about them in a little bit different language because it's a little bit easier uh, for people to understand in general. But once you get into the scaling, excuse me, into the scale your brand method, we talk about those four steps. And these are the four steps that we handle in this program. So take the quiz, get some insight on where you are in your business and figure out the very next thing that you should be focused on to fill in the gaps, to clear up the blind spots in your business. And I hope I, I will look forward to seeing your results. And if you get those results and you still want to talk and figure out what is the one next thing that you need to do, then schedule an action plan call with me and we'll get on a free call and talk about your results and talk about what is the one next thing that you need to focus on so that you can grow your business, scale your business, and have the, the business of your dreams. So thank you for those of you who have joined me live. I see people are here, but I can't tell who's here. So if you're live, um, thanks for joining me live. If you are still here, go ahead and comment in the comment section, and hopefully I'll see that. And if you come back and watch this on replay, make sure you type replay so that I know you're here let me know if you've got questions, comments, threats, promises. Put those in the comments as well. I'd love to hear from you. Hear how this is resonating with you. Hear where you are in your business and what you feel like you need in your business to be ready to grow. All right, friends, until next time, I'm Tiffany Huckelman with Lone Orange. Cheers to your scaling success. Bye.